Hello, I'm Mayor Christina Shea. On behalf of myself and my city council members, thank you for joining me for our virtual Memorial Day ceremony. Memorial Day is a day for us to pay our respect to the memories of our nation's fallen heroes. Traditionally, our community gathers over the Memorial Day weekend in Colonel Bill Barber Marine Corps Memorial Park and at the Northwood Gratitude Honor Memorial. As Americans, it is fitting that we continue to set aside time to recognize all who serve and to keep alive the cherished memories of all who have given their lives for our country. Even while we're staying safe at home with our families right now, this very special presentation will feature tributes to military fallen by commanding officers from Irvine's adopted 211 Marine Battalion, as well as some of our favorite musical performances and from past ceremonies. I hope you enjoy this virtual ceremony, which will begin as always with the honoring of our nation's flag. I will now ask for you to please rise, if you are able, for the posting of colors by the Irvine Police Department Color Guard. Post colors. Detail. Hold. Oh. Face. Ready. Post. Ready. Two. Present arms. Order arms. Right face. Forward perch. At this time, please remain standing for the invocation, which will be delivered by Command Chaplain of the 2nd Battalion, 11th Marines at Camp Pendleton. U.S. Navy Lieutenant Michael Gohagan. Let us pray. Almighty God, as we gather today to remember and honor those who have given their lives in service to our country, we express our gratitude to you for your provision and for your protection. You have always been our rock, our fortress, and our strong defender. We're also grateful for those who made this ultimate supreme sacrifice and to the families that they left behind. Father, we pray for these loved ones that you will supply their needs, wipe away their tears, and comfort their hearts. We pray for your continued mercy and your kindness upon our nation. Enable us to defend both our own nation as well as our allied nations and peoples around the world that need our help. Please hold our servicemen and women in your strong arms. Cover them with your sheltering grace and your presence when they come into harm's way. Fill them with courage and trust in your mighty power to face each and every day. We also ask, too, for their families, for all of our families, for your blessings, your peace, your provision and strength to fill their homes and lives. And Father, lastly, as we reflect on the honor, the courage, and the commitment of these men and women who have given their lives for our country, fortify our resolve to maintain these same virtues within our own lives and with our own efforts. All this I pray in your holy name. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's regular, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er 
the land of the free and the home of the brave. And at this time, we have our Pledge of Allegiance. Please remain standing if you are able for the Pledge of Allegiance. To lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance today, I would like to welcome Assembly Member Stephen Choi and our former mayor. So nice to have you with us, Stephen. Thank you, Mayor Shea. Good to see you, everybody. Today is a special day, and no other better time we can pledge to our great the flag. Please join me together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and the Republic for its stand, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. As part of our annual remembrance ceremony, it is a city of Irvine tradition to acknowledge important military anniversaries on this day. This year marks the 245th anniversary of the American Revolution. On April 19, 1775, the first shots were fired at sunrise at Lexington, marking the first military engagement of the American Revolutionary War between the British Crown and the 13 colonies in North America. September 2, 2020 marks the 75th anniversary of the end of World War II. Over 400 and 500,000 Americans gave their lives in the deadliest conflict in human history, involving more than 30 countries and marked the 75 million casualties sustained worldwide. Sparked by the 1939 Nazi Germany invasion of Poland, the war continued for six years until the Allies defeated Germany and Japan in 1945. Fifty years ago, the United States of America entered into the Korean War. On June 25, 1950, North Korea invaded South Korea. The United Nations Security Council authorized the formation of UN Command and sent forces to South Korea that included 21 countries contributing, with the United States providing 90% of the military personnel. The fighting ended on July 27, 1953, when the Korean Armistice Agreement was signed. To this day, North and South Korea remain separated. Our recognition of the anniversary of the Vietnam War continues. On April 30, 1975, Communist North Vietnamese and Viet Cong forces captured the South Vietnamese capital of Saigon, forcing South Vietnam to surrender and bringing about an end to the Vietnam War. Thirty years ago, Operation Desert Shield occurred. On August 2, 1990, the Iraqi army invaded occupied Kuwait. U.S. President George H.W. Bush sent U.S. troops to Saudi Arabia to prevent the occupation led by Iraqi President Saddam Hussein. The United States declared a ceasefire on February 28, 1991. Hussein ultimately agreed to the recognition of Kuwait as a sovereign entity. The peace treaty would also mandate that Iraq rid itself of all weapons of mass destruction. Ten years ago, Operation Iraqi Freedom would be replaced by Operation New Dawn. Operation New Dawn marked the official end to the Operation Iraqi Freedom in the combat operations by the U.S. military in Iraq. With this, 50,000 U.S. service members serving in Iraq would conduct stability operations and focus their efforts on advising and training Iraqi security forces. This shift was prompted by the desire to return American soldiers back home and build Iraqi civil capacity. The Northwood Gratitude and Honor Memorial in Northwood Community Park right here in Irvine honors the memory of all fallen from these conflicts and others that include Operation Enduring Freedom, Operation Inherent Resolve, and Operation Freedom Sentinel. The thousands of names on the Northwood Memorial panels are a reminder of the sacrifices made by our brave men and women in uniform during those conflicts and by the families who carry on their memory. The Northwood Memorial is open. Staff will be on site May 23rd and 24th to assist visitors with lighting a remembrance candle or completing a wall rubbing of names on the memorial. Guests will be required to follow social distancing guidelines. Irvine has a proud history of recognizing and celebrating the hometown heroes and other Americans who have given their lives for this country. We do so with plaques at Colonel Bill Barber Marine Corps Memorial Park and on the panels of the Northwood Gratitude and Honor Memorial. 
Irvine continues to engage its active duty military service members through our military banner program that is displayed on Culver Drive. And we also provide support and services to our adopted 211 Marines out at Camp Pendleton. And we also thank all who serve and have served through our annual Memorial and Veterans Day ceremonies. Our hope is that our memorials, this ceremony today, and other events and ceremonies held throughout the community will keep Irvine residents focused on remembering and supporting our service members and their families. Now as we salute each branch of the military, please stand and be recognized. U.S. Army. U.S. Navy. U.S. Air Force. U.S. Marine Corps, including our 211 Marines. And the U.S. Coast Guard. Thank you all for your service and for joining us to observe Memorial Day here in the city of Irvine. It is now my pleasure to introduce Lieutenant Colonel Caleb Hyatt and Sergeant Major Michael Childs from the 2nd Battalion, 11th Marine Regiment, 1st Division. They have sent us Memorial Day messages from Camp Pendleton. Greetings to the wonderful city of Irvine, California. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Caleb Hyatt and I'm joined today by Sergeant Major Michael Childs. Together, Sergeant Major Childs and I have the tremendous honor of leading and serving the 2nd Battalion, 11th Marine Regiment, stationed aboard Camp Pendleton, California. Thank you to Mayor Shea and the City Council for inviting 2nd Battalion, 11th Marines to be part of today's virtual remembrance. While none of us could have envisioned our current reality of social distancing last May, or even this past November when we celebrated Veterans Day, Sergeant Major and I are thankful to spend a few minutes with you today to honor the men and women who answered the call to service and made the ultimate sacrifice on behalf of our nation. Since May 30th, 1868, when a crowd of more than 5,000 gathered at Arlington National Cemetery for the first Decoration Day, as Memorial Day was then called, our nation has paused each May to consider the price of freedom, to recall the brave individuals who made the ultimate sacrifice, to remember their patriotism and selflessness. And so today, over 150 years since that first remembrance at Arlington National Cemetery, we honor the ultimate sacrifice of generations of warriors from all branches of service who made it possible for us to raise our children, dream our dreams, and live full lives. And today, even as we honor the memories of our fallen heroes, we acknowledge the men and women who currently serve on active duty, our Marines, sailors, soldiers, airmen, Coast Guardsmen, who have chosen a life of service and who have answered their nation's call. We honor our veterans whose faithful service and legacy have paved the way for a free and vibrant America. We honor the policemen and women, firefighters, paramedics, civil servants, and other first responders who keep America and her citizens safe, day in and day out, week in and week out. Always, but especially today, we offer a profound thank you to our first responders and medical personnel who have been on the front lines of our current health crisis, working through some scary and uncertain times to keep us safe. And today, we salute all the families of everyone we just mentioned, whose love and support have left an indelible mark on the history of our great nation. So as we wrap this up, I want to provide special recognition to our Gold Star families, those families whose loved ones gave their lives in defense of our nation and to whom we owe a debt that can never be repaid. Wherever you're spending the day today, please know that we solemnly revere your profound sacrifice. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been our honor to remember our fallen warriors our active duty personnel, our veterans, our first responders, and our families with you today and during similar events over the last two years. On behalf of the Marines, sailors, and families of 2nd Battalion, 11th Marines, we are forever grateful to our adoptive city of Irvine, California, and to the Irvine 211 Marine Adoption Committee for your enduring care, concern, and support that makes so much of what we do possible. Please, Please stay, stay safe, safe Semper Fidelis, and God bless America. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Hyatt and Sergeant Major Childs. We hope you, our Marines, sailors, and their families are staying safe and healthy. It is my pleasure now to welcome back Holly Rail, 
to perform God Bless America. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with a light from above, from the mountains to the prairies, to the oceans, white with foam. God bless America, my home, sweet home, from the mountains to the prairies, to the oceans, white with foam. God bless America, my home, sweet home. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise if you will for the benediction delivered by Chaplain Bill Hagen. We give thanks to you, O Heavenly Father, as we conclude this Memorial Day ceremony and celebration. It's been an honor to be a part of these solemn moments. Please keep the memory of those who have gone before us fresh in our minds. Never let us forget their ultimate sacrifice, which has afforded us the freedoms we enjoy in this, our great nation. May we always endeavor to follow their example, remember their brave deeds, as if they were here with us right now. May we always represent what is true and noble, giving thanks always for our country and for you, our God. Be with the families of those who have fallen. Be with the families of those who are serving. And be with us all as we prepare to depart from this most solemn occasion and this solemn location. For I ask and pray your blessing, your grace, and your mercy in your mighty name. Amen. Amen. At this time, I would like to formally recognize and remember Irvine's fallen heroes. Chief Warrant Officer Stephen Larrabee, U.S. Army died in Vietnam on March 24, 1971. Specialist Justin W. Pollard, U.S. Army, died in Iraq on December 30, 2003. Lance Corporal Sean Horn, U.S. Marine Corps, died in Iraq on June 19, 2004. Major Charles R. Soltis, U.S. Army, died in Iraq on October 13, 2004. Lieutenant Commander Keith E. Taylor, U.S. Navy, died in Iraq on January 29, 2005. Major Michael D. Martino, U.S. Marine Corps, died in Iraq on November 2, 2005. Lance Corporal Michael S. Prost, U.S. Marine Corps, died in Iraq on February 14, 2006. Second Lieutenant Mark J. Daly, U.S. Army, died in Iraq on January 15, 2007. Petty Officer First Class Reagan Young, U.S. Navy, died in Indonesia on November 23, 2011. And Staff Sergeant Matthew V. Thompson, U.S. Army, died in Afghanistan on August 23, 2016. We remember them today and always. In keeping with our annual tradition, I would like to recognize fallen Marines from the city's adopted battalion, the 211. We lost four members in Iraq during 2007. Corporal James McRae, Corporal Matthew Zindar, Lance Corporal Robert Lynch, and Health Nurse Daniel Noble. We lost two Marines during a 2012 deployment, Sergeant Vincent Bell and Corporal Connor Lowry. And on August 5, 2017, in Australia, we lost Lance Corporal Ruben Velasco. Like the Northwood Gratitude and Honor Memorial Enduring Name, we are filled with gratitude and overwhelmed by the service and sacrifices that were made with honor. 
We acknowledge each of these fallen heroes today with a rifle volley followed by taps. As we close the program, let us take a final moment to reflect on the true meaning of community, family, and freedom on this Memorial Day. Please join me in a moment of silence. Thank you all for joining us for this presentation, and thank you to our active duty military Gold Star families, and to all who have lost a loved one while we're serving our country. Thank you to all the veterans who are watching today. As many of you remember, your fallen comrades and fellow veterans are no longer with us. We are honored by your service, and thank you for joining us for this very special day. This concludes our program. May God bless each of you, and may God bless America. We now close the ceremony as the colors are retired. Retire the colors. Ditto. Hold. Love. Face. Present. Arms. Order. Arms. Carry. Colors. Right. Face. Follower. Hurts. 